ask Tom on home show. George from Washington, Michigan has a question about some hardwoods and he has a real headache about it. Well, it's a real issue, Tom, because he can't figure out where these spots are coming from, but he mm. sure knows what it is. Yeah. George writes, I'm not sure if it's pet or human urine or even how long they've been there, but it is overpowering. He says the floor is pre-80s and not in the greatest shape. We have used an ozone generator multiple times, but it seems to do nothing. This is a rental and the landlord doesn't seem interested in helping. Can we cover it up with some kind of carpet? Would sanding help? I'm starting to think that removing the floor is going to be the only solution. What say you, Tom? Oh, I think it needs to be refinished. The whole floor just has to be refinished. There's no way to buff that floor, to spot treat it. Uh, those are water stains and very well could be pet stains. Now, as far as the odors go and stuff, if you want to try to get to those, it's going to be a, a pet neutralizer. A lot of people try all kinds of products that you buy from the grocery store and usually don't find those. Go to one of those big pet supplies like PetSmart and use what the veterinarians use to clean up all the messes when it comes to neutralizing the acids and the odors. And I think that might be very helpful. Don't be afraid of ruining the finish on this floor because it's gonna have to be all sanded down anyway. I would try to use a deodorizer first and do all that, then go ahead and sand the floor down. And I think at that point, before you refinish it, you should be good enough shape. That doesn't mean that the baseboards in the house might have to be removed because sometimes you get stains and you get some messes on those that you don't see because it has paint, but it gets behind there. Uh, I think it can be saved, but uh, it's, it's not just a touch up and it's not a matter of putting carpet over the top. That floor has to be finished. You see those really dark spots when they, when they sand it down, those dark spots will still be there, but they use an oxalic acid and they bleach it to where the darkness comes out if you get somebody good. So they can actually get rid of that darkness. Will it be 100% gone? No. But if you use a, a little bit of a, a stain on there that has a little bit of color in it, that it should hide pretty nicely and give you that old patina of wood that, that really I think looks very nice. So take a look at it, talk to some specialists on that one. If you want to tear it out, of course you can. You, you So as deep and dark as those are, Tom, you think it is possible that you could finish off the top and get rid of the, rid of the odor that's in, in that wood? If it was a hundred year old home and it wasn't even just an animal stain, but it was just rainwater and this and that, those dark spots would be there if it was sitting underwater. And I've, re I've redone old homes and I owned one that was over a hundred years old and they had to go down and, and you can go to a certain point and then you have to stop because you start to take the whole floor up and then it has to go. But if you have enough to sand and you get somebody good who really understands how to take care of these floors and they're good enough or they're old enough and they have a, uh, 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 architectural vernacular you're trying to save, I think they could be saved and used, yes. All right. We want to help you save things and use them. Go ahead and click at homeshoreradio.com. The Ask Tom button's the blue one on the homepage. Go ahead and fill that out. There's a form there. You can send videos and pictures. Tom will answer your question just like this. And uh, we post a new one of his answers every day at homeshoreradio.com, our YouTube channel, and uh, our Facebook page.